We have some evacuation orders that are in effect right now in Placer and El Dorado counties. The mosquito fire is burning near the Oxbow Reservoir in Placer County this morning. Mandatory evacuations are in effect for Volcanoville, according to Cal Fire. It hasn't yet spread into El Dorado County. So far, it's burned 948 acres and containment is 0%. Last night, it was burning towards Forest Hill. On your screen, you can see the area is now under mandatory evacuation orders, including Volcanoville, Michigan Bluff, Gorman Ranch, Chicken Hawk. We continue to update you on the latest from this fire. You can stay up to date as well by going to our website, which is abc10.com. ABC 10's Devin Truby is live in Forest Hill with the very latest there. Devin. Walt, we're here at Incident Command where fire officials tell us they're gearing up for what potentially could be multiple days of firefighting here in Forest Hill off of Mosquito Ridge Road, which is why they're calling it the Mosquito Fire because of the Ridge Road name. Now this fire has doubled overnight for us. Again, those evacuations in place for multiple areas, including Michigan Bluff, Gorman Ranch, Chicken Hawk, Volcanoville, and a warning for Baker Ranch. This fire has gotten closer to Forest Hill. It really depends on the weather and the cooperation of the winds. Right now, we're still in this massive heat wave with temperatures way over 110 degrees, very dry humidity, and vegetation is very receptive. Vessel tells us they are bulldozing in communities and digging those protective fire lines already. But with so many fires throughout California right now, this crew will continue to work throughout the entire day and they'll be changed out tonight once more people arrive and they're making sure they have plenty of breaks and water available. Officials believe that this fire has likely already grown in size, but they won't get a better look at it until they can take a helicopter up this evening and see the size and everything that's growing. One indicator that they believe it's spread is all the smoke that we see around us. It means the fire's getting more energy and burning through more. So it just continues to grow up here, Walt. Yeah, obviously because of your mask, obviously the smoke is thick in the air. Uh, is there uh, officials are asking us to do all of us to do something today, even if we're not near the fire? What is that, Devin? Yeah, well, uh, we've gone with the mask just because the air quality up here, it's at the very tail end of the scale, which, you know, we've seen in our meteorologist map. But officials will tell everyone whether you're near the fire or not, don't do anything with any grass cutting today because you will absolutely spark a fire just with how dry conditions are that would include barbecuing or anything else just common sense knowledge like dragging trains let the resources be used to come up here to fight the fires and not have to be used on some kind of everyday things yeah there's going to be another update tonight at 7 p.m we should have a better estimate for acreage than walt sounds good devin truby is in forest hill with the latest okay air quality an issue there thank you devin and because of the mosquito fire people living in the greater foothills area can see the smoke smell the smoke. ABC 10's Monica Coleman spoke to air quality control about how it is impacting residents. Smokey and I have COPD. Smoke from the mosquito fire drained overnight into the greater Foothill area. Roger Jenkins lives in Auburn and says he plans to stay inside to avoid the harmful air. But with the statewide heat wave, he hopes people follow the guidance of the flex alert since he can't open up his windows due to the smoke. Well, I'm watching television, reading a book and playing video games and I hope the power doesn't go out. As the morning goes on and the temperature begins to warm, Ann Hobbs with the Placer County Air Pollution District says her team will know whether the smoke is going to disperse, but as of now. Probably anywhere from hazardous to very unhealthy to maybe even moderate in the outlying area. So it's, it's very smoky this morning. Stay indoors is the guidance, but if you must go outside, Hobbs says you should keep yourself safe by wearing a mask. And if you're going to be outside, an N95 mask is going to be the appropriate mask. Cloth masks are not the same, so um, and the surgical style masks, those are not the same. Um, they're not going to protect you as well as a fitted N95 mask.